assalamu alaikum dear students welcome to the summary lecture of introduction to management in this session we will discuss week number 9 in week number 9 we will cover the process of decision making and some other conditions of decision making students as previously we were studying goals and plans in order to set goals and in order to plan we have to take decision so here in this section or in this session we will discuss the process of decision making so first of all we will go through the steps of decision making the step number 1 is identify a problem students as i have already told you and as you know that before any solution there has to be a problem so first of all a problem arises and in order to solve the problem we go to invent anything or we need, we need to take decision so for example we have a problem that our salesmen are not working good and they need new computers new computers means new laptops this is the first step second step is to identify the decision criteria when we have to get laptops for our marketing representatives we have to keep in mind the following things first of all what activities should be there or what features should be there in our laptop and first of all we will discuss memory and storage ram and rom then we will see quality of display quality of screen number 3 battery life number 4 warranty and number 5 carrying weight so these are the criteria to take decision after the criteria we have decided we will allocate weights to each criteria students we have 1 2 3 4 5 different criterias but every great criteria is not equally important for our decision for example we need memory and this is our requirement and we also need display good display quality but we may not be interested in very good battery life or we may not be interested in the warranty or we may not be interested in the carrying weight to very large extent so we have to give weights to each criteria and uh, this will help us to take our decision easily and accurately so for example memory and storage is very important that's why we have given the importance 10 by 10 number 2 battery life yes it is important but it is not that much important that's why we have given 8 number carrying weight is not that important 6 more number warranty is not our problem 4 number and display quality is not recommended so we will give 3 marks out of 10 so this is the weights for example if a mobile we select has very good memory but 
not very good display quality or not very good warranty we will accept that laptop but on the other hand if we get a laptop whose features are very good for display quality and warranty but memory and storage is not up to the mark then we will not select so we will see what is the thing we can compromise or what is the thing we cannot compromise on so after having the detailed discussion and decision and determination after determining all the factors uh, of decision decision criteria and after allocating the weights to all uh, to each uh, criteria now we will discover and we will see how many alternatives are available in the market okay and in our case we have HP ProBook, we have Sony Vaio, we have Lenovo, we have Apple MacBook, we have Toshiba, we have Sony, we have Dell and HP. So we have almost seven to eight different alternatives available in our market, and we will analyze each and every alternative. as we have already studied that all the alternatives that we have we will evaluate and analyze each and every alternative and we will try to select the best and here as you have seen that we select dell inspiration since we have a check here check mark here and after that we have selected dell inspiration we will purchase that and after purchasing of the product we will give the product to the employees or employees are basically the representatives in sales department and after giving them or after handing over the laptops we will evaluate the performance of our marketing representatives as we have we have discussed in the beginning that we have discussed in the beginning that the performance of uh, marketing representatives was not good and they needed they needed a computer after giving them a computer we will see their performance whether it has improved or not so students let's move to the other topic next topic and that is rationality when we take decision and we, we, when we make decision we have to make the decision which is rational decision when we talk about rational decision it means a decision which is full of fermo fermo dra means aqal mandana fasla it means this is rational fasla when we take rational decision rational decision is is the decision which is basically made after looking and after seeing and after analyzing the facts and figures and this decision is called a logical decision whenever we take a decision this has to be rational and rational decision making means a decision which is a logical decision students as a manager who analyzes all the factors and all the variables before taking the decision before taking any decision he still cannot take a decision which is 100% successful there are some decisions which according to the managers are rational but taking rational decisions even after taking rational decisions many managers fail why do all the managers fail this is because of another factor which is called bounded rationality it means that a manager cannot discover all the facts alone he just covers some of the facts 
and on the basis of some facts when he takes decision his decision is taken and he thinks that it is rational but basically is it is not rational it is bounded rational bounded means limited rationality so because we, the rationality of a manager is bounded limited that's why he does not get 100% success or sometimes the decisions of the managers are failed so we will let's try to read what is written on the book despite the unrealistic assumption managers are expected to rational when they make decisions so when we think and when we say that the decision has to be rational so this is an assumption which is unrealistic because rationality is not 100% perfect perfect rationality or 100% rationality it is basically bounded rationality where the manager does not have full access and capability to cover all the facts and figures and take a very good logical decision which covers 100% facts and figures so that's why mm -hmm. this is called bounded but more realistic approach to describing how managers make decision is the concept of bounded rationality this bounded rationality tells us that managers make decisions rationally but they are limited they cannot cover everything they see they cannot cover everything in their environment they just cover some things and they just fulfill the thing which is called satisfies satisfies means when he is satisfied he or he uh, or manager evaluates all the alternatives and if he satisfies his the mentality or mental framework he takes decision but his decision can be rational but this cannot be 100% rational this can be bounded rational or this is basically bounded rational so there are three different limitations in bounded rationality number 1 when the decision uh, the decision maker do not have access to all possible information to the uh, relevant to the decision so first of all the first factor is that we have as we have already discussed that the decision maker does not have access to all the information yes since he is one person to take decision so he does not have access to all the information relevant information related to the decision number two decision maker ha have limited analytical computer computational ability they are not capable of judging the information and alternative perfectly so it means there is a problem to judge number three decision makers do not have unlimited time to take the make decision sometimes time sometimes time is the factor which makes us to take bad decisions or limited bounded rational decision because we do not have enough time we have only some minutes or some hours or couple of days to take decision so in limited time we cannot cover all the information we do not have that uh, uh, gadgets and we do not have that uh, facility to analyze the alternatives since we do not have enough time that's why we do not take very good decision and our decision is called bounded rational so i hope rationality and bounded rationality is clear now we will see the other other point which is called intuition intuition is basically the feeling of a person which is not supported by any research so at one end we have seen or we have studied rationality where logics facts and figures are analyzed and on the other end we have intuition and intuition is based on feelings and emotions of the people so here managers take decisions on the basis of intuition and here managers there are some managers who take decision on the basis of rationality so when we involve intuition in our decision making 
so we have five different factors related to intuitions and how intuitive decision is made number one experience based decision when we have a good experience in the past so we reinforce the same again and we have bad experience then we will not allow the same again keeping in mind that facts and figures will favor but we will not take decision because of our bad experience in the past a fact initiated it means sometimes managers take decisions based on their feeling and based on their emotions so here facts and figures are not analyzed or are not in used cognitive based cognitive means the knowledge and skills of the manager is the base of the decision not facts and figures subconscious mental skill if there is something in the subconscious of the manager he takes decision and at the end values and ethics sometimes we take decisions because of our social or national values or ethics and values and ethics sometimes may go against the logics and may go against the rules and regulations so students after understanding the intuition oh after understanding the rationality we have also understood the intuition so when managers take decisions sometimes managers take decisions on the basis of rationality on the other hand sometimes they take decisions on the basis of intuition the role of evidence based management so there is another type of decision which is called evidence based decision sometimes we take decisions on the basis of the evidence based so the example of evidence based decision is that where it is buying someone a birthday present we want to give a birthday present to someone and wondering a new washing machine to buy that is premise behind evidence based management which is the systematic use of the best available evidence to improve management practices so here we will see the best available evidence which supports our organization or which supports our decisions students next we have the types of decisions and problems and decision making conditions and uh, the first condition is structured problem and program decision structured problems means a problem in the organization which occurs again and again and, and the problem is basically known and the decision of this problem is also decided and there is no ambiguity for example students in our organization abc we have load shedding and we have power outage at 12 pm to 1 pm so we know that every day there is a power outage of from 1 12 pm to 1 pm and when the power, load shedding is load shedding starts or when there is a power outage at 12 pm we will go this is a problem and we have already decided the program and we will go to our generator and we will switch on the generator for to fulfill the need of our for need of and to fulfill the power need of the organization so the problem is also known which occurs again and again every day and we also know the decision for the problem next it is unstructured problem and non program decision it means that sometimes organizations face a problem which is not a regular problem 
and the decision is also not predecided for example if we see or we if we face a power outage in our area and we go to generator to switch on the generator and we have seen that generator does not get on there is a problem in the generator and then we call service providers they come to us and they say that we have two different parts which is not which are we have stopped working and we have to repair these two parts and we have to remove the defect and we will come after two days so this is the problem where two parts gets defected and the repair managers or the the repair officer will come after two days after repairing them and after installing them and then our generator will be functional so this problem is the problem which is not regular number 1 number 2 the decision was not decided earlier or it was not pre decided the decision was taken after looking at the problem's nature so here we will see the difference between program decisions and no one program decision first of all we will see the nature of problem in program decision nature of problem is structured means regular and non program decision unstructured number 2 managerial level program decisions are taken by lower levels but when an when a non program decision has to be taken this cannot be taken by the low level it has to be taken done by upper level frequency of the problem is repetitive routine it occurs again and again but this is new unusual and it does not occur again and again and daily information about the program decision or structure problem is known readily available we have we know what is the problem and we know the solution but non program it is ambiguous it is not complete then goals goals of pro of program decisions are specific and clear but non program is vague 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 means not clear ambiguous time frame for solution is short we can sort it we can solve this problem very early but this takes 2 3 days it takes relatively long time solution relies on procedure rules and policies judge and this decision solution relies on judgment and creativity so next there are three different characteristics of the decision number 1 is certainty number 2 is risk and number 3 is uncertainty students <coughs> ji students certainty means when we take decision and we are about 90% or more than 90% sure about the decision or about the result of the decision it means this is called certainty risk means when we are 50% sure or 60% sure about the result this is called risk and the third condition is uncertainty when we have 30% certainty and surety about the result of the decision this is called uncertainty so these are three so these are three uh, characteristics number 1 certainty number 2 risk and number 3 uncertainty so this was all from this uh, week week number 10 inshallah we will see you again with uh, week number 11 and onward till then allah hafiz